This is a wonderful shiny picture of the gluteus maximus. The muscle itself attaches to the back of the pelvis and then runs across attaching to the sacrum which or the tailbone and also it joins into the strong aponeurosis which is this very very thick fibrous layer which is the glue holding this part of the body together. The muscle fibers then run across the buttock and at the bottom they form what's called a gluteal fold which is actually a free edge of the muscle and the triggers can occur commonly in this free edge. They then come forward and this is very interesting and they join into a structure called the iliotibial band which is another very strong fibrous band running down the side of the leg. There are three trigger points that occur in this muscle. The first is here which is in the muscle fibers itself just after it arises from its insertion there and the second two are in the free fold here and here and so looking for these triggers you would need to lift the free fold of the gluteus maximus up and you can feel that in the inferior gluteal fold. This trigger point has pain locally around where it is and in this lower section here. The second trigger point is actually quite localized. You feel it just here, just above it. And the third trigger point, which I've covered over, doesn't matter because that's where you feel the pain. And you may feel it higher up here and you may feel it across there. So you can see that the pain tends to run around the outside of the muscle itself.